Welcome back. Today we are going to explain one of the most useful metrics in financial analysis. We are going to learn debt to equity ratio. So what does this ratio do? The debt to equity ratio measures how much debt a company is using compared to its equity to finance its assets. Why does it matter? This ratio helps us understand how risky it is to invest in a company. More debt can mean higher returns, but can also mean higher risk. Let's look at the formula. Debt to equity ratio equals total debt divided by total equity. So in the most basic example if our total debt is 200 and our equity is 100, our debt to equity is 200 divided by 100 and equals to 2. So where do I find this data? Both debt and equity are found on the balance sheet. Here is calculation in more detail. To calculate total debt, you add both short-term liabilities and long-term liabilities. To calculate equity you take total assets and subtract total liabilities. Let's look at a more detailed example. Here is a balance sheet of an ABC company. Total liabilities are 35,000. Total equity is 60,000. And debt to equity is 35,000 divided by 60,000 and is 0.58 which means that for every dollar of equity the company has 58 cents of debt. Lastly, let's discuss what are considered to be healthy and unhealthy levels of the debt to equity ratios. While it depends on the industry and stage of growth of the company, in general the ratio below 0.5 is conservative. 0.5 to 1.5 healthy for most industries, 2 to 3 is more risky and above 3 is extreme. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more financial ratios like and subscribe for more.